Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Lucklight here, and we're continuing Deja Vu. Sorry about the annoying music. Uh, let's try to finish this area rather quickly so we can move on. Now we need to use the Note 3 on it, because that's the one with the combination. Boom. Alright, so we get a folder and a box. Let's, uh, let's examine them before we do anything with them. Small box. Manila folder. It's a piece of folded paper. Oh, yeah, I guess. Open the box. Here's a key. Trunk key to a Mercedes Benz. Alright, that'll open the trunk, which supposedly has a body in it. Close the box. Let's open the folder. A note one. It says Ace Harding owes Joey Siegel one thousand. You can't recall having written anything like this. Alright, let's take that. Let's get the hell out of here. Oof. Music. Alright, so I think if we examine our things now, we'll have extra... info, right? No? Maybe not. Okay, never mind. Let's move on. Nope. Wrong. I think it's here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's use that key and open this trunk and find out what horrible things we're going to find inside. Yep, it's a fat woman. Appears to be unconscious. She's gagged and her hands and feet are tied. She's a real tub of lard. Well, that's not nice. So let's take the gag out of her mouth. Now, if you remember on the last episode, or it might have been the episode before it, no, I think it was the last episode, uh, when we regained our memory, I put some medicine in this uh, capsule, and that uh, allows the unconscious to speak the truth. Let's use them. Take me home, please take me home. 66 Auburn Road, take me there. Alright, so we got the address. Alright, I'm gonna save. I wonder what happens if you hit her. Which I do not condone in real life, by the way. Shockwaves through the ripples of fat that absorb the effects of anything with less than a two-ton payload. Wow, that is mean. <laughs> this game is mean! Let's, uh, let's find a cab. What happens if I go this way? There's the police. I think if you go to the right, you die. Like, you just randomly fall into a, uh... Uh, what's gonna call it? A, like, a construction hole or something dumb. Ugh. I got a scoop. Something to save your life. If it's worth 50 cents to you. Eh, no. I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go with this yellow cab. Cab. 
Tabby looks like a nice guy. Alright. So let's go to the final address, I guess. Let's go to the Auburn Road. Sorry about my stiffing. Coins. What was lost? Sure thing, pal. Looks like Tara from Gone with the Wind. Alright, let's open his mailbox. Another envelope. Open the envelope. A letter. I'm just, sir, I'm just rummaging through this guy's mail. Whatever. Sternwood, we have your wife. You have 24 hours to collect $20,000. Contact the police, she's dead. Be standing at the corner of Peoria and Elm at exactly 12 midnight. Have the ransom in a briefcase. Alright, that looks pretty important. Alright, so let's move up to the house. Door has a huge knocker. Well, might as well hit the knocker. Ugh! There's a scary dude. Especially with the master asleep. He looks like the classic wimp. There's your, uh, there's your hint there. I'm gonna punch him in the forehead. Socko. <laughs> wow. Alright. Let's go upstairs. Let's go inside. Yeah, I'll open this door too. Cheap, strong perfume odor in the air. The same one that was in Siegel's uh, office. And the same one is the bungalow. Must be a guest room. This must be Vickers. Martha Vickers. Open the night table. What do we got? Pen, pair of reading glasses. Let's take all this crap. Man asleep in the bed. Nothing in the briefcase. Tissues. I could probably use a pair of uh, some tissues right now, actually. Ooh. Alright, let's open this. My final warning. Keep your hands off Vickers or your wife gets the story. You could pay for her if you want her that bad. She'll cost you 20 grand.
That just seems to be all the evidence we need. Here's what we found out. Sorry. Sorry for hitting that. Um, <laughs> I hit my microphone. Um, here's what we learned. It seems like a classic, uh, I'm trying to get rid of my wife to be with the hot secretary kind of story. So, Mrs. Uh, Mr. Sternwood decided to... He wanted to be with the, uh, the secretary, so he kills Seeger. He puts his wife in that car that we were supposed to blow up by using the car. Oh, what am I doing? Let's go back to Peoria. And then he framed it on us. So what we need to do is we need to dispose of all of the false evidence against us and keep all of the info uh, all of the evidence that have against them, and then we go to the police. Because we are a private eye. If we don't get rid of the shit evidence, then we'll be arrested and tried and it's game over for us. Get away from me. So where would you go to dump all this info? All this crap? Sewer, maybe? Alright, so we need to find the deepest part. Okay, here we go. We're gonna leave everything that points to us, so we need to get rid of the incriminating murder weapon. need to get rid of the map, the one that said, like, here's your route. Remember that? Uh, we need to get rid of this bad snapshot. And I think... What is it, the Note 1? Is it Note 1? Do I even have... yeah. Is it this one? Yeah, the IOU. And uh, we're gonna go a little long here, because we're almost done. We'll get rid of that. Um, what else do we want to leave? I think Note 2 was also bad. something else. I know file 5 was bad. Alright, so I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna go up there and see if we get okay. So let's go to the police station and see if we have done it. It's the police! Alright, here we go. You're in the hands of the police. The evidence you brought to them proves to be interesting. In the courtroom where you wind up during the trial of the kidnapping of Mrs. Sternwood and the murder of Joey Siegel, three bits of evidence prove valuable. The diary from Vickers' bungalow, the blackmail letter, and timetable from Sternwood's bedroom. These three items, put together, paint the picture of a plot by Sternwood and Vickers to kill Mrs. Sternwood and Siegel, and to make you take the fall for it. The diary and the blackmail letter proved the motive for such a actions. The timetable indicated how they did it. 
Sternwood and Vickers were grilled on the witness stand. The weight of the evidence and the skill tactics of your lawyer made Vickers admit to the crime. Way to go, Ace! Because of your excellent skills, the case is laid to rest. Congratulations, Ace. You're off the hook. Since the case drew national interest, your name is seen on every paper in the country. Who could ask for anything more? <laughs> H. Harding's my Monica. <laughs> oh, sorry, I won't do that voice. <laughs> Once a boxer, now a private eye. Seagull lost his life for a mere 20 grand, so I'm off the hook. Town's really quiet all of a sudden, like nothing's happened. The crime will never cease here. It's hunting its next victim right at this moment. Ace Hunt. Uh, oh. <laughs> Somebody, I thought it was repeating. Somebody had better look out. In the end. Alright, so that was Deja Vu. Uh, one of my favorites uh, back in the day, along with Shadowgate. Uh, Uninvited is okay. I'll play that one later. It's okay. It's well, not my, my favorite, but I did like this one. I like detective stories. But uh, I may have run through that a little too fast for you, and that, if so, I apologize. Uh, I was kind of going off a lot of memory. But uh, yeah, pretty fun. Uh, I would suggest giving it a try yourself if you, uh, if you want. Um, try to figure it out on your own. I think there's a second one. It's not a Nintendo. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look that up. But if there is, I'll play it. But, yeah. I think we're done with this. So, on the next episode, we'll play a new game. I still have to figure out what we're playing. Uh, I'm starting to dry up when it comes to 8-bit games. Obscure games. Um, I might have to kind of bend the rules a little and play something not very obscure, but... It's getting there because it's old, as old and old and old, and uh, kind of maybe forgotten. I have an idea, but uh, I hope you join me for the next one and uh, see what it is. So yeah, I think we're done. So I hope you join me for the next one. My name is Lucklight, thank you for watching, and have a good one.